Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm Rusty Nelson, and today we are doing quick tips. And quick tips are simply things that are either about the villages locally or may pertain to people in that kind of retirement age, or there's some things that just apply to everybody, like when we did the squeaky garage door type thing. But today we're doing something on crime, and I'm going to use Sumter County as an example. Now, this is a pretty cool little app that you can use. When you hear those sirens go or whatever, you can find out really quick what that's all about in your local area. So let's go ahead and jump over to the web page and we'll get started on this really quick. And before you know it, we'll be done. But as always, thanks a lot for subscribing and liking, especially if this is some help to you. Let's do this. Not too long ago, Sumter County Sheriff's Office joined in, or I guess subscribed or published on a site called Community Crime Map. And that's actually what the website is, communitycrimemap.com. And it's by a company, uh, LexisNexis. Mm -hmm. And oh, she was talking to me. If you, if, you, if you have that, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, if you jump over there, and let's go ahead and do this. Here we go. This is what the site looks like when you first pull it up. And all you have to do is up top, just type in the zip code. Now, not all areas around the country are covered by this, just ones that subscribe to it, like Sumter County. So if we type in the, uh, a village's zip code, 32163, and hit enter. This is what we get. And as you can see, this is the local area. And this the little blue dot right here is where we are. And I'm just going to cover this briefly because it's one of those things that you will kind of want to go around and check out yourself and, and you'll learn it as you do it. But if you know it, know it's out there. Let's go to uh, just a full screen. You don't need to see me that much. And as you can see in this area, here's Lake Miona, here's uh, Brownwood right here, here's uh, Lake Deaton. Let's just take this area down here because it's kind of close to me, a residential burglary. Click on that and up in the right hand corner here, I'll try to scoot it over a little bit, is the information regarding that crime when it occurred the basic local residents, a lot of the little points are moved to protect people. I don't think you'll find, you can check on this, but I don't think you'll find sexual crimes and stuff like that on here. But if you want, you can look a little closer and you can look up the actual address right here. So let's zoom in on this. There we go. And this is not the exact address right here, but if you look, this area right in here was the actual road that it was on. You're just not going to tell you which house it was exactly. So as you can see, and that's kind of cool. And this is the first part of the quick, quick tips. And the next one I'm going to show you is actually an app that you can use on your iPhone or whatever. And I'll show you on my iPhone here in a second. Once you download it, if your area is covered in this area that we live in around Sumter County is covered, it's really quick and accurate. And when you hear a siren or something goes off like that, or you just want to look at it, you'll see here in a second, you can tell exactly what's going on, where the address is and so on. So let's jump on over to the iPhone. First off, I guess we should take a look. There is a website for this. It's called Pulse Point, and the website is pulsepoint.org. And I'm not going to play the videos or go through any training on this because obviously you can do that yourself. This is just to quickly let you know that it's there. And it's separated actually into two different apps. And the first one is Pulse Point Respond, which basically will tell you, if you can look right here on the right hand side, it tells you where things happen in your neighborhood. Like there's a, a medical emergency. If you look right here on this one, I'll show you on my iPhone. And then there is Pulse Point AED, 
which are the, the cardiac units that you'll see a lot in the villages around the neighborhoods. And basically, this is interactive. In other words, it will let you know and give you pictures of where there are AED units. And also, if you're on their notification uh, type thing, if it's needed, it will let you know that there's an, a response needed nearby to the unit that you are closest to or will alert you to that. But I'll let you, if you want to get involved in that, uh, do that yourself. And also some pretty good basic minute and a half videos. You can look at those. So that's PulsePoint.org. You can look through that. And now I'll take you over and I'll show you on my iPhone what the apps actually look like. Here's the front of my cell phone. As you can see, there's two apps on there. One is Pulse Point and the other one is AED, the cardiac arrest thing. And the first one, Pulse Point, let's open that one up by tapping on it. And as you can see, it goes right to my area because it knows where I live because of the GPS. And right now the time is 4.06 and there's an inner facility transfer. I guess that means moving somebody from one area to another in an ambulance probably, but right below that is a medical emergency. So if you tap on any of these, let's tap on that one, Alvarez Avenue, Lady Lake. Tap on that and it brings up information about that specific emergency. And you can see there's a little more information, the ID down the bottom and you touch on the map, and it will show you the exact address. And if you want, you can tap on where you live and you can get directions and different types of things like satellites and that type of stuff. But that's basically what that is. And there is some interaction. You can get notifications from that. But as you can see, there's all different types of emergencies that are on there. You'll get fire, police called, um, service type things, public service type things, all types of stuff. And kind of not a bad thing to have when maybe there's a hurricane or something like that, give you some information. Let's check out of that one and jump over to the AED. And that one will bring up where you live in relation to where you live with the AED units. Now, this is not up to date. St. Catherine just got done a bunch of theirs, so they'll eventually get on here. But as you can see close to me, if I needed one for some reason, is right at Azel. And you can tap on that, tap on the image, and that'll bring up information regarding that. Now it has a satellite shot, but like I said, this is interactive. So once you check in and get registered, you can actually go out and take and report where AED units are. Also, if you are a responder or are involved in this, you can have it set up so that you will be notified if there is some type of problem close to your area or close to your AED unit where you could possibly assist. Those are the two apps, and I know there's a lot of AED units in the area since I'm just moving down here full time now. I haven't quite gotten involved in that, but I'm going to go around and probably log most of the AED units into here and make sure that they're they're in there. And I'd highly suggest in your area, in your neighborhood, there's a lot of people that are involved with the AED units. And if you are somebody that is uh, like a responder type or whatever, I know that these units have already, these cardiac units have already been used in this neighborhood and save some people's lives. So that's, that's pretty cool. And that's one of the great things about living in a neighborhood like this. So get your butts out there and become aware of what's going on around you. And you don't necessarily have to use one of these units, but it really helps if you know where one is in your neighborhood. Anyway, that's a quick tip. That's what these are all about. Kind of just quick information that can be used. And as I always say, I will see you either back here on YouTube or in the villages and please do me a big favor if this is any help to you go ahead and subscribe and whatever you do hit that like button it really helps with the algorithm and lets me know somebody's actually watching this anyway thanks a lot for joining me and you have a wonderful day